Okay, hello YouTube. Um, here we are again with another video. Now, the reason for this video is I was watching um, a YouTube channel called uh, Sheroda's Box, and it's about uh, a guy who called Matt, and he repairs uh, cars and uses a very methodical scientific approach. Um, I found them very helpful, especially when uh, I had problems with this car and I had head gasket problems. Um, his uh, methodical uh, approach really gave me sort of ideas and inspiration and tips to actually sort this car out. Um, this is a response to a video which I'm going to uh, suggest in the description down below um, where he pressurised a uh, cooling system of a Subaru Legacy and he made a, a device to pressurise the system using a rubber bung uh, a, a gauge on the uh, expansion pipe and he used an airline and he said um, because the pressure's lo low enough you could actually use a bicycle pump and if anybody used a bicycle pump he'd be interested in finding out well I'm a man who has used a bicycle pump um, I used it to diagnose a problem with I had a similar problem where I suspect an internal leak so what I did was I put the car on ramps, drain the oil uh, remove the sump and I pressurised the cooling system and I'm going to show you how I did that um, so Matt, this video is for you. Okay, so first what I did was um, remove the cap and then to pressurise the system using a bicycle pump, what I did was I got an old bicycle inner tube and I removed the valve. I basically snipped the valve out and at the back I just cut along the back so it just becomes like a flat piece of rubber with a bicycle valve on it. Uh, the next thing I did is I've got the remainder of the inner tube, which is here. There's the remainder of the inner tube. I'm got, and then cut some sort of like small little uh, bits of inner tube, and you so there's like sort of elastic bands really. I used a couple of them, and as you can see on the uh, the actual uh, expansion tank, I stretched a couple of these, I stretched them out, and placed them over. And I did that to pro uh, to provide a good seal. And you'll see why in a moment. I'll just grab the screwdriver. <coughs> what I did, place the, uh, the valve over the top of the uh, expansion tank, put on a hose clamp. We call them Jubilee clips uh, in the UK. Well, that's another name that we use. I don't know if you use them over in, in the States, but that's what we call them. <coughs> And then we tightened the, then tighten the Jubilee clamp up, like so. So it's all on. And then you get your bicycle pump. Now I've had trouble with this bicycle pump, so it might not work. But this bicycle pump here has a gauge on it, so it's a track pump. But, uh, my mother bought me for a birthday present. So, there we go. Then you just pump it up to about 20 psi. It'll bulge out a bit. It's actually working. But then you can use that to actually test the, the, the cooling system. Or well, what I did is I went underneath with a torch and found a leak from the head gasket. And that is how you pressurise cooling system using the bike, well, that's how I pressurise the cooling system using a bicycle pump. Um, you can use car foot pumps like this, similar sort of thing, connect it onto the valve, pump it up. You'd have to use your hands though because you can't put it on the floor, but I hope people find that useful. Um, and uh, Matt, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks guys.